have sex. And what I'm doing is I'm talking quietly, even though I'm in my van, because there's other vans in the car with people sleeping in. Now, if you're the people that have just been meeting outside the van to run your hike, this is what you do. It's called having a little bit of awareness when people are asleep, instead of laughing and joking at the top of your voice at five o'clock in the bloody morning. So, I'm a bit grumpy because of that this morning. Anyway. This is the base of Manto. I just thought I'd go for a little walk, a little stroll. I've had a thought, you know, it's not that far walking to Castleton. Wait, I might not be saying that in 20 minutes, but you could park up there. Look at the camber on this road here. You could park up there, and if you bring your torches, you could go and have a drink in Castleton and walk back. The question is, Will I be able to get a coffee in Castleton at 8 a.m.? We shall see. You know, I weren't even a massive coffee fan until I started van life. And then it's like this thing you've got to do. First thing in the morning, you've got to have a coffee. But then Helen's introduced me to some nicer coffees. So, I am getting into it a bit. What you'll find with me, with me vlogs, I'm gonna vlog all day today, is I'll progressively get less grumpy as the day goes on. So, I tend to be at my grumpiest first thing in the morning. And, you know, I'm just one of them people, I'm not a morning person, it takes me a long time to come round. It's like my brain's not turned on. And I know there's other people like that. But then, I'll be seeing Helen tonight, hopefully, so she'll cheer me up. You'd think, with a place that's so popular with hikers, that I'd be able to get a breakfast, at least a coffee, at this, this time of morning. As I'm vlogging today, I do feel tempted to maybe have a breakfast. It's only for you guys that. I wouldn't normally do it. I'd normally be having like quinoa for my breakfast or something. The old nags head, I wonder what time they open. It's all right in there. What time do you start breakfast? Now? Yeah. Oh, nice one. Is it through here? No, no, just anywhere. Just anywhere. And can, can I do a bit of vlogging as well? So I'm feeling refueled after that. That was lovely. Not too big, but it did taste really nice. I had the Derbyshire breakfast and uh, a latte and it comes to £11.45. I've eaten there before, it's always nice food. I'm going to head up here. I'm just going to have a look in the uh, graveyard around here. I'm a bit conscious because of the rain, so I've added this new microphone thing to the, the GoPro, but it stops it being as waterproof, so I've got to be a little bit careful because I've got the mic receiver on top of it, and that's not waterproof. 
it's only raining light but you know I'm really going to have to upgrade my uh, weather game because I've been relying on the BBC app for weather and it's crap, they just make it up it was going to be sunny this morning, that's what it said yesterday but then today you, you wake up and you can hear it rain so I checked the app again and it said rain what they do, they just get up in the morning, see what weather's like and just say yeah that's what it is it's wrong all the time I went in Bridlington last week and it just kept changing every day it's just a pointless exercise trying to see the weather what it's going to be like using the BBC app and now we're told that they get their information from Met Office but I don't know so I'm gonna to have to put my camera away because it's, it's got my uh, microphone on it which is not waterproof I should have thought about that really but as I said when I wake up in the morning my brain's not properly engaged I'm coming around a bit now because I've had an, uh, a breakfast and a coffee so I'm stood under this tree and I'm going to make a move bloody weather I don't need to put phone away though so I'll see you back in van I'm back at the uh, the van now and now I've got to head to Barnsley I need to go to the gym get a shower and then I've got to go to the unit and I've got quite a bit of stuff to do in the unit sort of tidying up <clears throat> what have you it's typical I've got back to the van and it stopped raining bloody weather I think that app that BBC weather app I think it's just a big scam I just think they take it mick out as they tell you it's going to be sunny and then it's chucking it down they do it to wind you up anyway I'll put camera on driving through uh, down Winnets Pass because it's nice down there and now we'll see you back at sunny Barnsley. On the journey in the past week, ministers say the numbers arriving have fallen this year, while illegal immigration into the rest of Europe has risen. The chairman of the British Museum, Paul Party Parliamentary Group, has accused the police of blatant opportunism. They the institution is not safe for the offence of artifacts. The same the museum is damaging, but the museum has taken the offence seriously. Just heading up Broken Road now and been waving to van lifers. If you, I don't know if you just waved at me because you like friendly people or whether you've seen my videos. So whoever you are, whoever you are, whoever you are. Uh, hello, and just put something in comments. I've been chatting to a lady there, and she's lived in a car for eight weeks there. It just shows, doesn't it? You know, you complain, I complain about my little van, and she's living in a really tiny car with a dog. There's quite a few people like that. As I've walked back in the rain from town, from Castleton, I've passed all types of vans, camper vans, motorhomes, from your, you know, your huge 70, 80,000 pound motorhomes, right down to that little car. And there's all different types of people. You know, I've seen vans worth a couple of thousand pound with blokes and the kids living in them. And it's just, it's very, you know, the view belongs to everyone. I think sometimes it can be a bit of snobbery in van life, but, you know, we're all one big community, aren't we? Anyway, I'm going down Winners Pass. I hope my brakes are working down here. It's a bit steep.
keep it in low gear and watch out for psycho sheep running out in front of you like that get off bloody road you idiot Spectacular. Yeah, so you can walk up it. I was going to walk up this way, but I didn't know. It lost its appeal with rain, though. So it's, it's been a good morning so far and it's only 10 a.m. I've had a lovely walk. I bet I've walked about four mile. I've had a nice breakfast, really nice breakfast. And now I'm off to do some work. But ah, I'm a bit stinky, so I need to go to the gym and get a shower. So this is my unit and I made a decision that I'm getting rid of all my stock. I'm putting it in these totes. Uh, I've got loads of stuff, I've done loads already. And I'm gonna either put it in storage or just sell it off. And, and that's just so I can focus on YouTube because I've lost interest in antiques and stuff. So it's a bit of a tip here, I've got to sort it all out. And that's what I'm going to be doing over the next few days. Absolutely gorgeous uh, Jacobi and Chester jaws there. I love it. Solid oak. You know, in a shop in London, you'd pay 800 for that. So, it's for sale if anybody wants. <laughs> Got a bike there which I'm, I need to review, which I've just been sent. Okay, so I'm nowhere near done. I'm absolutely knackered. I've been cataloguing all my stock all day. But I keep getting distracted because there's all boxes of my old stuff from house and everything and I'm sorting them out because there's a lot of stuff that needs to go to the charity shop. I've just opened a big box uh, we're loading my daughter's toys in so I need to see if she wants them. <sighs> Nightmare. And then I've spoke to Helen so what time are we on now? It's now half past six and I've my chair squeaking and I've just spoke to Helen it's half past six and she's still at work. It's absolutely ridiculous. The hours that she works, you know, we're wanting a night out. So I'm going to get a, I've not been to the gym for a wash. So I'm just going to get a body wash here and then go to Helen's for about eight o'clock uh, and just take her for something to eat or something, go for a, a couple of drinks. And that's it. I can't wait to get all this stuff sorted. And then it, it frees me up to be doing more more videos because I've been flogging a dead horse with this. With eBay. And my art's not in it. Since I've started YouTube, my art's not in it anymore. You know, but hey. So look who I bumped into. <laughs> it's a late Hello. one. It's a late one, isn't it, tonight? Yeah. Because bless her. I was saying earlier that you've worked really long hours today, haven't you? Well, it's been a busy day. There's been a lot of work, yeah. but not enough time to do it. So we've just come, and we've come to like local. I don't even know what is it. You know what it is? No, no. But what type? What sort of chain is it? It's like a carvery place. 
Marston's. So we've come here. Yeah, I mean normally we'd like as little independence, but because it's late, it's late. To come so I've got a pint. She's got a wine. Her yeah. Do you know what I was going to say? How much? How much? <laughs> Twelve pounds summer. Yeah, it's because I've got a large one. It is. So we're going to order us food quick before it's too late. Yeah. So how's your day been? How's my day been? Yeah, don't go into detail. I don't want to talk about it. Alright, we'll not talk about <laughs> your day. What we need to talk about, my darling, yes. is what we're going to do this weekend. Where we're going to take our subscribers, because we're going on a trip, aren't we? Yeah. But we're Why undecided. Would you like to go? Well, I've my got, darling. I've got my choices, but I want to... <laughs> I want to... Where do our lovely friends want to We don't go? care what they want. You just said... <laughs> <laughs> Cut. 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 Where do I want to go? Snowdonia. I knew like? you'd say that. What's the weather like in Snowdonia? It's not going to be as good. I want to go to Trifan. Well... Open, open it's a bit rowdy in this pub, isn't it? It's never known with this one. This is the pub where we met. Yep, it's where the dream started. Isn't it? Yeah. Where I met the love of my life. Oh. Uh, and, and then I saw I, you. And, then, yeah, <laughs> yeah, we and this is where I met you. Yeah, we're both, <laughs> we're both thinking of things to come up with, weren't we then? Funny yeah. jokes to come up with. All the way back, just before the lockdown. Nearly four years. Yeah. Nearly four years. Twenty twenty. Yeah. God. And then it all went pear shaped, didn't it? And then, so you couldn't like scrap a year, can't yeah. you? Because <laughs> yeah, yeah. you were scared of me. I, t I took it serious. <laughs> Do you remember when we had that picnic on separate picnic? Separate, like? yeah, we were like two metres apart. <laughs> and I was thinking, oh, come and give us a snog. <laughs> and like you were like, go away, put a mask on, get me some hand gel. I'm not like that anymore. <laughs> I took it dead serious, the whole pandemic thing, when it started. And I wouldn't go anywhere near you, would I? But, no, uh, I know her. Uh, you were giving me a complex. Because, yeah, because you were coming into contact with people and I was paranoid. <laughs> I thought if I went too near to it, I might die. <laughs> it was, you know. I know. I had to go, well, I'm not going to say. Yeah. Let's talk about this weekend. So yeah. we're going to go on a trip this weekend. Yeah. A bit like old days. <gasps> it's the good old film days. Film we've, film we've not even seen each other for 12 whole days. No. Been rubbish, hasn't it? Yeah, have you missed me? Very much so, yes. Oh, I've missed you. Good. <laughs> like a like a hole. Pain in the neck. <laughs> yeah. I've been putting like a hole in the head. I've been <laughs> I've been putting a list together of possible places where we can go. Then looking at the mileage. Oh well, no, you've sent me a I've couple, got, like a trio of like destinations. Have you done a spreadsheet? We've got <laughs> sort of three days, two and a half days. <laughs> So, we could go three different places, really. We could get three videos out of it. How cool would that be? Oh my God. And I've got some ideas. And there's short distance, medium distance, or long distance. What, you mean walking? As in, to get to. Oh, I thought you meant the walk. No, well. Because we have to do a walk. The third, the, yeah, the third day is always the walk. So we'll do, the first day is like half a day to get to the What about, place. how about the middle day being a walk? Because then you've got the next day to recover. How about that then for a little... Spanning work, so yeah. Yeah. Because I always have to go back to work the following day after yeah, a walk. We'll and, do a walk second day. And you get to like... Relax a bit more. We'll do a walk second day and then we'll do another. What do you think? Yeah, Is that a good I, idea? I that, Look, yeah. I'm just throwing it like in there, do you know, like production meeting and all that. Yeah. Give me a camera. Just film you. People have been seeing my ugly face all day. They want to see you. Yeah. Do you know what? What do they say? Brainstorming, you know, I don't have to say that anymore. A thought shower. <laughs> We just say what we want. Though. Yeah, we do. We yeah. don't do. Let's chuck it though. all in. Like no um, suggestion is a stupid one. Absolutely. But if it if it is, I'll say, James, that is <laughs> That's a stupid. A stupid idea. <laughs> 
I wanted to film you making a mess of your food. You're going to get it all around your mouth. You oh, see, like hot. I love stuff like that, but I never go for it because it's just too messy. Why? Are you upset? I've just gone for the burger. About making a fool of yourself in front of me. Well, I just don't like being messy. I've gone for it. I love getting messy. <laughs> I've gone for the chicken burger and chips, and we've got some. Oops, we've got some halloumi fries here. Halloumi fries are a bit rubbish. They're okay. Yeah. It might be a bad picture because it's really dark, but I just wanted to tell you something. So that were all right. That were an acceptable meal in there. And there's this sort of ongoing joke with Helen that she just reads everything, and it's a bit weird. So that's what why do you mean, weird? it is. You read everything. So that's why I don't take her to museums or all like that anymore because she reads <laughs> absolutely everything. So we're just coming out at pub there. I need to know what's going on. We come out at pub there and we're walking into a car park and I'm chatting away. I've gone 20 yards, I turn around, she's not there, I'm talking to myself. And I thought, where's she gone? So I go back in and there's like a leaflet on her desk and she's stood No, there. there was a table with like leaflets on. And she was reading them all. No, it was like local businesses. <sighs> Yeah. I'd like to support my local businesses. <laughs> yeah, but it's getting on and we want right, to come on then. We want to take the Shut van. Stop talking then and get your foot down oh, mate. We want to take the speak to me in that tone. <laughs> <laughs> we want to take the van back and get to a decent pub because beers in there are rubbish. My local. We went to Helen's local. I fetched a tilt are you okay? Yeah, just me I fetched a tilt local. No, you have to wait until I've sorted my hair out. Oh, God. Yeah. It's like a fashion show. Of course it is. Look at a woman. So, Honestly. let me just... Let's talk about what we're drinking. Hello. I hope. I hope. Helen's got one of your favourite stouts, is it? That yes. at Chantry Brewery. Uh, diamond, diamond black, black is it? Stout. Is it called diamond? Oh no, I'm thinking. What was that drink? Diamond white, were it? Yeah. You, yeah. Well, so, <laughs> and I've got the ABK, which is a lovely wheat beer. And so it's it were eight quid. So it's not bad prices in here, is it? Good, yeah. yeah. It's not bad, but it's very quiet. Very quiet. It's still open, but we've got our special seats. These are our reg these are where we sit, aren't they? These yeah. seats. Yeah. Anyway. Last time we came in, the dancers were in, weren't they? Yeah. Like a and you asked them to do a dance for us. Oh my god. No, I think did I? You did. She'd had a drink and they were so dance meeting and she says, Would you do a dance for us? And what did How say? embarrassing is that? They said bugger off. <laughs> But, but in, in a polite. I didn't ask. This, I must have just said it joking. They said it in a polite way. What? Like that? Yeah. Like that. Right. Anyway, I'm stopping filming now because I want to enjoy my drink and talk to my lovely girlfriend. So. I've not seen for twelve days. Yeah, might see it morning if I do some more. I don't know. Depends what footage I've got. But uh, if not, see you in the next video. Where, which is going to be, we're going to get three videos coming soon, aren't we? Because we're going on this yes. trip this weekend. All right, Siddhi. Siddhi.